There's a huge difference between a dog who can do protection work and a dog who can do what we require of them. You need a dog that has all of the vigor, all of the strength, all of the ability to take down multiple violent attackers if need be, but yet, as soon as you turn it off, your three-year-old should be able to crawl all over it. I started training protection dogs completely by accident. Somebody challenged me to put on the suit and get attacked by a dog for the first time. I was nervous, but I was excited. I felt like it was something that I had to do. We want to find that dog that doesn't exist because he's so special. And that's the mission that we're constantly on. There's no business hours when it comes to protecting a family. It's so important that that dog perceive its environment during its training as its new home. Having a dog that's in a completely dormant state that has no idea that something is about to happen and basically having the world come crashing down on them. All of these things are extremely important in order for them to be truly functional in the real world. I have clients who, before they got their dog, they were a shell of themselves because they've had people threatening them. And once they get these dogs, they, they become themselves again. Most people don't expect to get the level of relationship and friendship that they get from these dogs. It's, it's a level of loyalty that I don't think it exists on a human level. There's a huge difference between a dog that loves you and desires to be happy with you and a dog that will lay his life on the line for you.